Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about AI. In this video specifically, we're going to show how you can install your own ChatGPT or your own large language model AI in your network. And before we're going to explain how we can install and what we're going to show, we're going to explain what is this ChatGPT. ChatGPT is one company that produces it, that's OpenAI, at the moment it's revision 4, but in the past it was revision 3.5, where I post my previous video. And this ChatGPT can answer some questions for you or complete some errors that you do. So you can continue a conversation and you continue to ask some questions until they give you answers and that you achieve what you want. But OpenAI is the only company that produces this kind of large language model. Have other companies that are doing the same job and try to enter in the same market. One of those is Google, other one is the Meta. And in this video, we're gonna show how you can install the Meta option where it has been leaked and now you can load it and run locally in your network. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to explain how you can install this Llama or how you can have this AI look on your network, we go to the basics. What is this Llama? Llama is the language model from Meta AI where they have a large language design with the research to make their own AI. These options, they have a several size. The size that you can have, it's a 7, 13, 33 and 65 billion parameters and with more parameters we'll have more processing power and we'll have more precise or more options that you can do. If we go here, the last years they say that uh, OEI is starting to be more and more used in the market and in this way they are trying to come in this market. Uh, with this language they work with um, around 20 or more language. In this way you don't need to only to use with English, you can use with others language and they will answer you. In this way they explain all the steps and how it's work but how it used to be. You could come here in the GitHub in the Facebook research and here they have all the information and you could get a download point with token in the Google Forms, and if you open this Google Form, you can explain what you're gonna do, your territory and everything, and then you could download this language and use in the way that you want. But in our case, we don't want to do it because first thing, we need to be connected in the Meta server and that uh, they will have access to information. And uh, you need to have internet. In our way, we want to do everything low. So some time ago, this language model has been leaked and that it's able to download by torrent or other options and we're gonna show how you can do it. One of the repository that allowed you to do it, it's the Cocktail Peanut Dalai and that's uh, they have all the information, the demos and how you can do, but how it's work. It's really simple, it's basically three steps. First one, you install the model and second one, you launch the model or you start to run it. And this mod option look like similar for this one where you can set some parameters, make the question and they will answer you. Other thing that's interesting that this model work with different platforms. You can use Linux, Mac and Windows and all those platforms will work well. And you can have a different memory, so different kind of language parameters that you can download. If you decide for the base ones, in this video we're gonna show it, you can go for 7B where it's around 4 gigabytes of data. If you go for 13, it's around 8. If you go for 30, it will be 16, and 65 will be around 32 gigabytes. It's not so much, but as many parameters that you decide will use more memory. So in this way, if you have a really low power computer, it's better to go for 7B. If you have a really powerful computer, go for 65 and they will have more precise and better information, but to use more power. During this installation, I tried to use a virtual machine to simulate this computer installing Ubuntu, but didn't work. So in this way, what we needed to do, we need to have a laptop. This laptop have a, a eighth generation CPU, so it's not so young and the laptop is not so powerful. So we need to run with a 7B. Also, what we're gonna do, we're gonna install in the Linux 
because most of my videos I show Linux based and that I will do it. If perhaps you want to install Mac or Windows, please let me know and that I will show you step by step. But because most of the videos that I do, it's based on Linux, so we're gonna keep doing it. So in this way, if we go down, here's the Mac option. And if we continue down, they will say Mac option. So they will say the Docker container option, the Mac option. And here we go to Windows option, and then Linux option. So in this way, what we need to have as I started, we need to have Python and Node.js. The Python needs to be equal or inferior for 3.10. So in this way, if you're using Python 3.11, it will not work, you need to be uh, below. And also you need to make sure that your Node.js is higher. So you need to install a higher option than 18. If you don't have those set, we need to install, but if you already have installed, check if it's the version that you can run it. And then in this way, you can download the model and you have a two options to download. You can download the Alpaca and the Llama. The language Llama is the base one, the same one that uh, Meta use, and that the Alpaca, it's a little bit more training to get a better precise answer for you. Both languages will work well, but if you want more precise, I suggest you use the Alpaca. Otherwise, the AMA will work in the same way and will work well. And to do more than one download or more than one language download, you can download the 7, 13, 33, and continue on. Of course, they will take more time, and depending on what internet connection that you have, they will be longer or short. After this one, we're gonna install some dependencies, principally for the Ubuntu. And after those dependencies install, we're gonna run it. So to do it, I will plug in my computer, restart it, and once that is start, I will be able to open through the putty. Using putty, I already open here, I can come here and use the IP address of my machine and put open. First time that I open this machine, they will ask you for accept the key. I will put yes, accept, and I have my machine. So I will extend this page. And now what I'm gonna do, I will log in with my user. My user will be SauberLab. What they suggest that I have 23 updates, so I will do apt list upgrade and run it. And okay, I will clear this page. And first thing that we need to do before we do an installation, we need to update and upgrade our system to be sure that all the items that we are running is a late revision and everything's running well. So in this way, I can use this follow script, sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade yes and put enter. They will ask my password, I will put my password and put enter. In this stage will take a little bit until they upgrade and update all my system, depend what kind of internet and the computer speed, they will take longer or short to do it. So let's wait a little bit until they finish to update and upgrade my system. Once that my system has been updated and great, I can clear this page. And now I will check what revision of Python that I'm using. The Python revision that I'm using will be 10.3.7, so it's under 11, 3.11, so should work. In this way, I will install some dependence or some application for the Python. To do it, I will put sudo apt get install Python 3, Python 2 then, and Python 3 pip, and I'll put enter. In this way, they will download everything because I already put yes, they will not ask me to allow it. They will install automatically, so now we need to wait they download everything and install. This one will take some minutes until they finish, so let's wait. Once that you finish download those options, we're gonna run this follow step. It's in the troubleshooting, but it's good already to run because potentially it will not work. So we're gonna sudo apt install build a session Python and put yes. This way, once the every, everything is running, we finish to install the Python requirement. Now the next requirement that we need to install is node.js. To do it, because we need to run the revision superior for 18, so let's clear this page and we're gonna run this one. Core, node, and we're gonna install the revision 19. It's superior for 18, so should work, and we could put enter. In this way, they will take some minutes until they install. This installation will be faster compared for the Python, but anyway, it will take a few minutes and now just finish to install it. So let's clear the page again. 
Now, the next stage, we can start to download the language model. To download the language model, it's really easy. We're going to use NPX, Dalai, Alpaca. I could use the Llama, but I prefer to use Alpaca. And now I put install, and I will use the 7 billions of uh, parameters. Because my laptop is quite slow, I cannot use higher than one, otherwise it will take some time. But if you want to run in a better computer, yes, you can do it. So I will put enter. And now they will ask, you want to proceed with this package? I say yes, and put enter. Now it is time that they will start to download everything, complete, and this time will take long time. Because they will need to install all the modes, will install all the information, and that they will start to web torrent, and that they will start to download this one. Because in this case, it's around 4 GB, they will take around 4 GB of data download. Depending on the speed of internet that you have, could be a few minutes up to a long time. So let's wait this one to finish. Once that this one finish, we can go to the next step. Now, the next stage, they will start to install all the dependence and we'll do all the application. Don't worry, the first stage takes a long time and this one will take around more two minutes. And once this one finish, then we can start to run. So let's wait a little bit more. Once appear this page, it means that you just finished to install your language model and that uh, they say that have a new version. So let's update it. So now we need to put sudo and the same information that ask and put enter. In this way, they will install the language and they say that have 25 packages and they only find 18. Once that they finish it, we can run this uh, Dalai. To do it, we'll put npx Dalai serve and put enter. Now they will say localhost to dot 3000. Because we are not using a physical machine or we don't use that specific machine, we cannot go in localhost 3000. We need to put the IP address for that machine. In my case, the IP address will be 192.168.1.1. One, two, nine. So I need to choose it to dot 300. So let's do it. Once that appear here, they will appear this page and here is the little ally that I can use. So I can get numbers of predictions, uh, repeat less number, penalty for repeatable, top level, what's the temperature, what's the speed, how many threads and the language model. So if you download more than one language, here is the option that you're gonna choose it. So in my case, I only download one, only have one available, but if you download more than one, you can decide which one that you want to do. I suggest you start with seven and that go up, not start with up and go down because otherwise your time will take time. So what we can do, we can also scale with the template and decide different templates. So I can decide for sentimental, translate, write, default, and continue on. In our case, we're going to select default. One thing that's interesting, that if you change any parameters, the information that you're going to get is different. So before we start to do anything, let's put here the bug, because I want to see what's going to happen, and I will put my prompt. So I will say, what is the size of UK? And I put go. In this way, they give the information that they are doing. They say, what's the size of UK? Here they will give how much data that they need to locate, how many tokens that they use to do this research, and here they will start to give the answer. So UK has total area of uh, 243 square kilometers, and that's, uh, they say that smallest country in land in Europe. It's only loose, slightly bigger than New Zealand and Belgium. So if I have the same question and ask again, but I will take out the debug and put here and put go, they will give a different answer for me. Not a, so much different because the size of UK will not change, but they will give a little bit different information, different approach for the information. So I ask what's the size of UK and they will start basically the same. You cannot go so much, but if you look here, UK has a total area of this size, and if I come here, they say that approximate how many square meters, and they already give other information. And each time that I run it, they will give a little bit different, and they will give different information, different weights. Of course, they are not so good as the ChatGPT 3.5 or ChatGPT 4, but they still help you quite a lot and give your own information. 
also the speed of computer will affect the speed of this answer. If you have a really powerful computer, they will answer really fast, but in my case, my computer is low, so they will take more time to do. So guys, I hope that you like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and see you next time. Bye.